Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of the Ultimate Iron Man. And last video, we spent about a week and a half at the Blast Furnace, and we went from 68 to level 90 smithing. I know, we spent a long time there. And that means that we now have the smithing requirement for all the quests and all the diaries, and we will never have to train smithing ever again, because we're not maxing. And we also ended with 76 magic from that grind too. Uh, not quite high enough for super glass make, but I'm sure by the time we get Lunar Diplomacy done, we should have gotten that level from just teleporting and stuff. And we left off claiming our stuff back from Zora, so now let's get back into the adventure. Ah, we have reclaimed our bag of lutations. I'm gonna drop the ice gloves because you don't need those anymore. And let's start putting our stuff back in there. By the way, in the last video, I didn't mention the cash stack that we ended up with that you probably saw at the end of the video, but we have 6.4 mil GP. Uh, just in our cash stack, not including what we have in the Nightmare Zone coffer, which I have actually have no clue what we have in there. I don't think it's too much though. But I did mention in the last video that the method that we were doing with the Mithril Plate Bodies actually profits about 1 GP per XP. And based on the cash stack, it looks like that that's about right. We have a, uh, yeah, looks right to me. And if you couldn't see already, we got an easy clue from the thug, so let's go ahead and try that out. Wait, that's all I have? Oh. Nice. Oh yeah, I was clearing stuff out last video. That was like two weeks ago for me. <laughs> you guys just saw it a couple days ago though. It feels good knowing I can die again because my stuff has been Zora for a week and a half now. So I had to be like really careful that I didn't die anywhere or else all my stuff would just disappear. But now we're free. All right, easy casket. Uh, we're gonna have to alk that. Actually, before we alk it, I want to try something. It looks like there's a couple of uh, stash units that require a steel plate body. I'm curious, can we put the, uh, what is it, the steel plate body T in uh, the stash unit here? Let's try it. Okay, we've got everything we need. Let's build the stash unit. And I know I could have easily looked this up, but where's the fun in that, right? All right, hopefully uh, we can put the plate body in there. No! We need an actual steel plate body. Uh, feels bad. I was kind of expecting that though. Goodbye. Let's buy a plate body here. I said at the start of the series that one of the long-term goals of the account is to get the quest cape. So today we're gonna keep on working towards that. Uh, it's definitely not the end goal of the account. I don't really have an end goal for now. Once we do get the quest cape a long time away from now, I'll set some more like probably PVM related goals and stuff. Uh, but I was looking at what quests to do. I spent the last week and a half of just trying to think of stuff to do uh, once we finished 90 smithing, and I didn't think of too much stuff. I just kind of thought we'll just randomly start doing quests and working towards diaries. And next quest I was looking at was the Wanted quest. I was looking at rewards of quests, and I saw a 5k Slayer XP. And there's a few other quests and diaries that require a higher Slayer level. So we'll do this quest and uh, get a few Slayer levels out of the reward. For this part of the quest, we have to give the Dark Mage over here in Varak 20 rune or pure essence. So I'm gonna see if we can do it in two trips and do 10 at a time. Hopefully uh, that'll work. If not, I'll drop a bunch of items. Okay, well apparently we have to have all 20 at once. So I'm gonna try, actually I'm gonna try doing something. We'll see if this works. All right, we need eight more essence. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop eight. All right, I dropped eight random items over there. I'm gonna pick these up over here turn them in, do this little part of the quest, it takes 30 seconds. Yay, he took them, nice. Okay, cool, I think that's it for now, and then I'll just pick this stuff up. Oh, I was so worried about this. All these Black Knights out here aggro me, but I guess the ones in the room don't aggro you. Maybe if you're talking to him, they don't aggro you. I can imagine this would have been probably a bit of a pain. This dude's name is Lord Decarius. That reminds me of that one Keen Peel sketch. You know what I'm talking about? Oh my god, these cutscenes are so long. I was looking away and look back. You know, I think I had the same thing half on the hardcore. I saw the health in Faldor, but we're good. It's time for my respawn point too, but whatever. Bro, we gotta fight this dude. Okay, we got 13 Slayer. Let's see what level we jump up to. 23, oh my god, dude. Uh, yeah, quest is done. We got a quest point. Uh, we'll eventually have to do the Faldor Elite Diary, and uh, we have to get the White Knight armor for that. So, yeah, pretty sweet. Fun fact about the Solus guy that we just killed, he counts as 100 Black Knight kills. So later on, we'll be saving 100 kills. Although, I guess that's how it is for everyone. Anyways, I'm going to go fishing now, because I have to AFK. Next quest I want to do now is Holy Grail, because you get a ton of prayer XP and a ton of defense XP from it. So I'm going to go get my Excalibur, and we'll get this done. I was wondering how much money we had in the Nightmare Zone coffer, and it looks like it's just about a mil. So I'm going to go and put, uh, I think we'll put six mil in there, or just over that to make a nice, even seven 
seven mil in the coffer. I've been so tempted to get the Edgeville respawn. It costs five mil and would save a little bit of time to suicide and go to get the loon bag back. But uh, I don't think it's worth spending five mil, almost the whole cash deck on that at this point. Oh, apparently I didn't do this quest before because it's an Entrana quest. I totally forgot about that. So we're gonna have to suicide, do this part of the quest, get the loon bag back and all that. But I'm gonna skip over that for you. 50 attack. We can now uh, finally wield this Ivan staff here. It's a very weird place to get to. No, there's a dragon impling I want so badly. Okay, well, let's see what we would have gotten. Oh, okay. Mm, it's worth 84k. Ah, uh, I remember this fight. I remember on the hardcore, I was fighting him for 15 minutes, just flinching him, and I messed up and had to redo the whole fight. So hopefully, it doesn't happen again this time. That is not something that you easily forget. Yay, we did it right. Okay, we got 44 prayer and 35 defense. We now have 46 prayer and 40 defense. We can equip rune now. We can finally get our rune plate body. But the quest is done. Uh, it also unlocks the fairy ring code DJR, which is for a clue step. So we can do that one in the future if we ever get it. Uh, and whenever we get the stats for King's Ransom, we can do that and get Piety. Look at all those things we unlocked. All right, let's go do Shiloh Village quest next. We need to do that quest as a requirement for a bunch of other quests anyways. Hey, Karamja task done. Very nice. I do want to start working on diaries eventually, but questing is also fun. Questing is what you need to do diaries. Wow, look at all these tasks we're getting done. Wow, this boss fight is very tough. I'm going to try to not accidentally teleport out. That would suck. But we have spellbook filters. Okay, Shiloh Village quest is done. We can now go to Shiloh Village and use the gem rocks there. And we can now also take the cart from Brimhaven straight to Shiloh Village. I have a feeling gem rocks may be useful at some point if we need to get gems on the fly. Although I think most gems we just get from either wall saves or buying them in the shop in Artie. I guess for the special gems like opals, jades, whatever, if we need to make like expeditious or slaughter bracelets or something uh, real quick, we can use the gem rocks. Oh, 51 crafting as well from that. Let's go do the Karamja Easy Diary now. Looks like we have like half the tasks done anyways, and they're all really easy. After seeing all those tasks that we finished before, it makes me want to do some diary stuff now. Let's do this. Oh yeah, we can also sell all the stuff we got from the quest to some guy in Shiloh Village for a total of 2k GP. But at this point, that's really like nothing to me, so we're just going to drop all of it. The Karamja Easy Diary is done, and the rewards will be on screen if you want to take a look. Let's head over and claim reward. So as most of the easy diaries are, there's not too much stuff that we get from it, but when we're wearing the Karamja Gloves 1, you get more tackle when you're selling stuff to tackle shops, and when you're buying stuff from shops that require tackle, things are cheaper. So eventually when we go to buy an Onyx for our Fury, we're going to save a lot of tackle that way. Let's go claim our Karamja Gloves 1, which we can reclaim anytime from Purdue for 200 GP, and we'll use this XP lamp into Herb Lore. You only get 1k XP because the Karamja Diary was the first diary added into Old School RuneScape. Uh, the other diaries were added a couple years later, I think but they just never end up changing the rewards from the Karamja Diary. The gloves actually used to look completely different from the rest of the outfit. Uh, that's just recently changed though to match everything else. I guess since we're doing all this Karamja stuff now, next quest we'll do is the Tai Bo Wanai Trio quest. And this quest is a bit notorious for Iron Man because you have to get the Agility Potion, which is kind of annoying for low level accounts to get. But we have the Herbler requirement for it anyways. And for the potion, the first thing we need is a Toad Flax. But we could turn in three Agility tickets from the arena here to get a Toad Flax. Good thing we did this as well because because I believe claiming a ticket is a Karamja medium task. Now we could take our three tickets and trade Jackie and buy our toad flax. Oh wait, crap, I just noticed we need four doses, so we have to get one more uh, toad flax, so three more tickets. I hope I never have to come back here. Well, apparently picking up swamp toads was a task here, but uh, yeah, we need two swamp toads, we can take off their legs, and now we can make our two agility potions. The last item that we're missing for the quest is a spear. And we need a steel spear better. And there's a few ways to get a steel spear, but I think the easiest and most convenient way to get one will just be from Hobgoblins. They're level 28 and it's a rare drop, so it could take a while, um, but hopefully it'll be pretty chill in AFK to do this. Oh crap, I didn't even notice. We got 45 hit points. Bro, it's been like 10 kills and we got the freaking steel spear already. I'm so happy about that. I was expecting to be here for a long time. You can tell this guy's been playing a bit too much RuneScape. For this part of the quest, we need 20 Karambanji. These didn't use to stack, so if that was the case and it was still like that, I had to fill up the inventory with each individual Karambanji. Okay, Taibo Wanai Trio quest is done. And we actually don't get this XP yet. We have to go into the village and 
talk to a few people. And with this quest done, we can also do the smithing section of the barbarian training. And yeah, now we have access to everything in the village. So like the uh, Karamban shop, the spear shop, all this stuff. And then by talking to this dude, we can now properly cook Karamban. Before it was only the poison one. Uh, that you could cook, but now we can cook the proper ones. Oh no, actually, I think it was this guy that teaches you how to properly cook them. Or maybe it's this guy, who knows? And we also got this uh, Rune Spear KP, which isn't going to be useful for us at all. So we're going to elk that for 12k GP. Well, I was looking through the quest list, and I think I know which quest I want to do next. It's something that I've really been dreading for a long time, especially on Ultimate Iron Man. It is not going to be fun, but one small favor... <laughs> Uh, inventory management's gonna be awful, but we'll make it happen. We'll do it. We'll do it. All right, let's get started. All right, so it begins. One small favor. I will see you back in just a tick. It's just a small favor, right? It'll be really fast. All right, well, we got an attack level while trying to get the hairliner that we need for the quest. Whenever I have to do anything combat related, I think I'll only be training attack or focusing on attack, so that way we can get 60 and equip dragon weapons. All right, we now have the ability to make Guthix Rest if we add these into here. There we go, ready to go peeking. And we also got this easy clue along the way. All right, well, I'm currently about an hour and a half into the quest, which is about 20 minutes into Slayer Music's quest guide. And uh, we're finally at the halfway point, which is where we finally start getting the items and start giving the items to all the people and, you know, do the opposite back end of all the favors. Well, we uh, just got a hit points level here. Okay, well, we can make pot lids now, which is going to come in very handy for our pot. I think because we're here for the quest anyways, and we have a super high thieving level now, I think we'll get an easy clue and just uh, see if we get lucky again. Okay, this should be the casket. Here we go, this should be the end of one small favor. There we go. It took me about two hours to get it done, and this Slayer Music Guide is 40 minutes. So I guess it took about three times longer. That's including like collecting items and stuff. Uh, but yes, it is done. We have the steel key ring, and you can put a lot of different types of keys on there but it's not that useful as an ultimate because if you drop it or lose it or whatever and you reclaim it back, it does not have the keys on there still. So maybe there's some niche uses for it, like doing clue scrolls or something maybe, but I don't have a use for it in the near future. Uh, then we get two 10k XP lamps, which we can put on any skill over level 30. So there's 47 to 49 herb lore. There is level 50 herb lore, just like that, over halfway. Before wrapping up the video though, I wanted to hit 175 quest points because that's the requirement for RFD. And I feel like it'd be a nice stopping point for the video. So I'll uh, decide on what quest to do next. The quest we're going to do for the 175 quest points is Rag and Bone Man. All right, and Rag and Bone Man is complete. We have 175 quest points in total now. So whenever I'm ready to start doing Monkey Madness and do all the combat related stuff, uh, we can get our Bureau's Glove. That's probably quite a bit of ways away. But now that this quest is done, I'm going to start Rag and Bone Man Part 2. And maybe as we get bones from like randomly killing monsters from doing Slayer or whatever, maybe I'll just start turning those in over time so we'll kind of passively get the quest done. Because for uh, Rag and Bone Man 2, there are a lot more monsters that you have to kill for this. And uh, also, in case you didn't know, I can't use a bank, by the way. Yes, we are back here again, as usual. Oh, shiz, 67 agility. Before we wrap up the video, I want to ask for kind of a favor. So I assume most of you watching this video enjoy Ultimate Iron Man progress videos. And my favorite YouTuber slash streamer puts legit hundreds of hours into every video between gameplay and editing, and he doesn't get even close to the amount of attention he should be getting. Like, there's actually so much passion and effort in the videos and it makes me sad because he should be getting at least a hundred times the views that he's getting. And it'd be pretty freaking sick if you guys checked out his Ultimate Iron Man videos. I think you guys will all really like it. Uh, but his channel name is Tro, and you know, if you enjoy, leave him a nice comment or something. But don't tell him I sent you. I don't think he watches my videos. Just uh, let him enjoy the magic of YouTube, you know? You gotta spread the love around the community. And I'll link his channel in the description. And uh, yeah, I don't think any of you will be disappointed. All right, well, that is gonna wrap it up for today. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Next video, we are gonna continue on with more diary stuff, more questing stuff. So I hope you'll join me then. But until then, hello there. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you again next time.